Good morning, traders and guys from United World Capital and Cyprus. This morning, uh, news from Asia tells that the Japanese export fell 8.1% in July. This is the steepest fall in a long period of time, and it tells that uh, both the problems in the European Eurozone and uh, in China starts to have a serious effects on uh, the global economy, including export countries like Japan. The uh, Japanese yen is nevertheless a little stronger against dollar this morning, uh, while the euro is uh, racing uh, to the highest level in weeks against then the US dollar. It reached 124.88 uh, yesterday to the, uh, in the morning in Asia. It's trading on around 124.65, which is still in the upper end of the uh, new uh, recent corridor, uh, corridor, which was established uh, with the low on 120.42 and a high on 124.50. Uh, the reason for the high euro is still the expectations um, uh, among uh, investors that the meetings in the eurozone between the European leaders during the end of this week should have a positive effect. What uh, uh, most traders are hoping for is that the European Central Bank would take uh, measures regarding bonds and start to buy bond gains, especially then uh, Spanish and Italian bonds. Uh, the rumors about uh, that this should take place has already a positive effect. The uh, long term, uh, the, the, the rates on long term uh, Spanish bond fall more, more than 1% yesterday. Uh, oil prices are still very high, around uh, hovering between 114 and 115, and New York crude oil is uh, above 96. Also very interesting is that the uh, gold and silver prices are continuing to climb. Uh, gold has been jumping from 1600 up to 1640 in a couple of days and the gold prices are following suit. I wish you all a good trading day from Cyprus.